This broadcast is brought to you by GJ News. Breaking news! Today marks the 237th anniversary since Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock Gilbert Du Mochier Marquise de Lafayette, aka Marquise de Lafayette, aka Mark, started battling for the Continental Army. He was a French man who came to George Washington wanting to fight for the Continental Army. Washington immediately took him in and put him high up in the army. Washington thought of him as a son, and Marquise helped lead the Americans to victory. Let's take a look. 237 years ago. Bonjour, George. I have arrived to serve for the Continental Army. Oh, welcome to the colonies. Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock Gilbert Dumoquier Marquis de Lafayette. Please call me Mark for short. Okay. <laughs> okay, we could take this last part. It's time to fight the British in the Battle of Brandywine. Okay. Pew, pew, pew. Ow, you shot me in the leg. Ow, that pretty hat. <laughs> You're so brave, Mark. I recommend you for the command of a division. Oh, thank you. Washington sent a letter to the Congress recommending Marquis to be the commander of a division. Two months later, Marquis returned to the field and was in command. He returned to Valley Forge for the winter where Horatio Gates asked him to prepare for an invasion of Canada. Yay! Dear George, we are planning to return to Valley Forge, but I do not think we should invade Canada. Thank you for informing me of this. The Continental Congress has agreed to remove Gates from the board. Canada is our ally. This is the letter from George Washington to Marquis de Lafayette about Horatio Gates. Yay! Treaties were signed by America and France, and France recognized America's independence. Go find and kill Marquis de Lafayette. We can't find him. Fine, let's march north to New York. The Continental Army followed the Redcoats and attacked at the Monmouth Courthouse. George, you need to come to the front of the army. General Lee is acting weird. Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> the British withdrew their soldiers and the Continental Army was victorious. In February 1779, Marquis returned to Paris, and then in 1780, he came back to America and commanded two brigades of infantry. On May 20th, 1834, Marie Joseph Paul Yves Rock Gilbert Dumotier, Marquis de Lafayette, died and was buried next to his wife in Paris. Marquis later had a son and named him George Washington Lafayette. Thanks for watching GJ News. Stay tuned for our next segment about the new trend mac and cheese and ketchup. Bloopers! Breaking. What's wrong with I you? I wasn't ready. <laughs> Can I? Who's your partner? This broadcast is. I need to start it. Oh my god. I went down. Where are you at? Oh, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. Oh, God. Okay. okay. Wait, I think we need to Thanks start over. Wait, we need to start over. <laughs> okay, this is the letter um, from Horatio Gates. I mean, no, not from Horatio Gates. I lied. Sorry. And cats. <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. I was going to say cats up. But it, it we changed it. <laughs> Let's do it again. No, way. Okay. Oh. Bonjour. Bonjour. You're so brave, Mark. I command you for the... What do I say? I forgot. 
I okay. recommend you. <laughs> Okay, you started it. Oh, 